Let's see what happens. Because it is time. Time for a, a another full case break. 2018-19 Optic Basketball. Full case number... Number four. All right, so let's put this on the screen real quick. All right, so there's the list. And you'll notice nobody has the Mavericks. Uncle Jesse, what are you doing? No Mavericks? That's like the biggest team. Well, we're random them. Uh, we're randoming them. So let's do that right now. We're going to go 12 times in the random. I'm just going to grab everyone's name here. Do the old copy. Come to the random. And paste it. Boom. Everyone's name in the break right there. We're going 12 times. The top name wins the Mavericks. Good luck, everyone. And the money shot 12. Boom. 12 times. Well, look at that, Jeffrey. Some people just have all the luck. My boy Jeffrey wins the Mavericks. There you go, my dude. Very nice. All right. And now to grab the case. I'll be right back. Yo. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, man. All right. <sighs> Shopping this up. I'm freaking hungry. in the morning how long did it take me to do the other one of this probably an hour or so 
which means I won't get out the office till like four, maybe five. Oh boy. Well, we did knock out a bunch of breaks today. We did, let's see, three cases of limited, four cases of optic, and a case of the Series 1 Jumbo. So that's why. Eight cases total? Not bad. Look, everybody. Let's see what we got here. Dwayne Deadman of the Hawks, 99. Come on, why? Autograph here to 60 for Danny Green of the Raptors. Thank you, E Rock. I try, I try. Marshawn Brooks for the Grizzlies to 149. Donovan Mitchell of the Jazz to 79. Carroll of the Nets to 199. That's an Oladipo to 49 Pacers. That's one box down. Put this stuff to the side here. to see something big time for my peeps here. Hopefully we can get another break field after this. I feel good. I'm not ready to go home yet. I would love to knock out another case of limited football. Or even a case of Series 1 baseball. Series 1 number 2 with the Yankees giveaway. Down to 21. Yeah, gold in there.
righty. Second box. Wendell Carter Jr. of the Bulls to 199. Wendell Carter Jr. of the Bulls to 99. For the Kings, nice to 10, Buddy Healed. Not the Marvin Bagley, but 6 of 10, Buddy Healed for the Kings. Pretty sweet. So, numbered autographs back to back. That's decent. Wide side of the Heat. To 39. The greatest of all time. AI. Malcolm Brogdon of the Bucks. 2 of 10 right there. Shai Gilgis Alexander for the Clippers to 149. Two down. Ten more to go. Vincent Edwards of the Rockets, 49. To 49 for the Magic, Melvin Frazier Jr. Three boxes, three numbered autographs? Okay. That would have been sick if it was a Mamba, though, for the Magic. Excuse me. My boy D-Wade. I'm legit going to cry when he plays his last game. Reggie Jackson, Pistons, 189.
Jared Jackson Grizzlies to 99. That kid's a beast, too. A lot of good young talent in the NBA, man. Anthony Davis, 99 Pelicans. He requested a trade earlier this week. You think he's going to actually get traded this year? And if he is, where are they going to trade him to? Aaron Holiday Pacers, 149. I don't think they're going to trade him. And if they are, you got to throw everything plus the kitchen sink at that guy. If I'm Magic Johnson, that's what I would be doing. Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, and a draft pick, and a cup of Joe or something for for, for that guy. Anthony Davis and a LeBron combo would be insane. I could also see him going to the Celtics, though. Celtics got a lot of young talent, plus they got draft picks. Not yet, Jeffrey, not yet. I mean, the, the last case I did, man, there was a Luka autograph, but there were like two Luka base cards and one Luka insert. So they are, they, they are tough hits, my man. But like Eric says, they are coming. Just, just got to be a little patient. And sacrifices to the random gods don't hurt either. I think I see the autograph staring at me. Troy Brown Jr., 99. Uh, Wizards. Clint Capella, Rockets, 149. Joseph Nurkic, Blazers, 39. This is an autograph. It is Kyrie Thomas Pistons Auto. That's the first base autograph here we've hit. Chris Middleton of the Bucks, one ninety nine. There's a Luka Doncic base card. Asking you shall receive, Jeffrey. There's one. Hopefully got an auto to come for you. We shall see. Trey Young rookie insert for the Hawks. That auto would be nice. Come on, Trey Young, come out to play.
It is, Jamie, it is. Something's got to give here. what I can hit here. Kimball Walker Hornets, 149. Well, somebody asked for it. Here it is. Josh Kogi to 49 for the Timberwolves. On card rated rookie auto. Very nice. I like Okogi. Kid's a beast. Steven Adams Thunder, 79. Cheers, mate. And it's Cantor for the Knicks. 99 Charles Barkley for the Sixers to 49 I think Jason pulled an autograph of his earlier today Nikola Jokic, 189 Nuggets. The Chuckster, that is. I believe he's a redemption. Box six. What's up, Jason? How you doing? Not bad, not bad. Hoping to pull an air holiday for you here soon. Dude, Jamie, not for nothing, man. Given the weather around the country, it would not surprise me at all if uh, shipping is uh, at a standstill for a while. Hopefully, it's nothing too crazy, but, man, weather around the rest of the country is crazy right now. Yeah. 
here. Well, there's a Luka Doncic base card right there for the Mavericks. I think these are selling for like $20, $30 a pop. These right here. Just straight base. Man, Donkage Fever is high. DeMar DeRozan of the Spurs to 49. Giannis of the Bucks, 189. A Luka Doncic rookie insert. The rookie's insert, I should say. Need that auto, though, Luka. We got an auto here for the Spurs, though. Lonnie Walker, the fourth. With the Spurs autograph. There you go, Jeffrey. A little something, something. That's a Miami boy right there, too. Hopefully, uh, he starts balling for the Spurs. With Greg Pop as his coach, I like his chances. John Wall Wizards, 149. That Aiden still eludes us. And John Collins of the Hawks, 299. All right, we're halfway through. We got six more boxes to go through. Take this time here. I want to check the store, see if we have anything else close to filling or moving at least. Nope, doesn't look like it. I would like to do at least another case or two of limited. But that stuff is noise. a redemption in there I, I kind of can't help myself I want to see what's in there it's a redemption though the only other redemption I've seen was uh, Charles Barkley earlier today and Jason pulled that if I'm not mistaken but we shall see Eric trying to speak the Knox into existence. Knox is our redemption, apparently. Oh boy. All right. Well, let's see what's in there. This is box six, if anyone's keeping track. Tony Parker for the Hornets, 299. Another Luka Doncic base card here. Now that those are cool and all, 
But we need your autograph, sir. Well, there's the redemption. Oh, I'm going to save that for last. Going to let that marinate. Larry Nance Jr. for the Cavs to 99. Tony Parker Hornets 199. Not bad for a team we're giving away, right, Eric? But one, uh, you know, an auto would be pretty sweet too. Kevin Love for the Cavs to 79. Marketing of the Heat. I'm sorry, the Bulls. He played the Heat today and destroyed us. That's the 149. The Heat suck, man. All right. Still got to see what the redemption is. It is Justin Jackson, the rated rookie signature. Justin Jackson. Pelicans, I think. No, Kings. I think that's Kings. We gotta look that checklist up. See where he goes. Justin Jackson is a son? Mm, I gotta look that up. <coughs> Excuse me. Justin Jackson... Card number 183 is indeed magic. Yep, it is magic. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let me grab some water real quick. Be right back. Oh boy. Yeah, I hear you, David. I thought I was that kid that plays for the uh, Pelicans. What's up, Brad? How you doing? Ripping a little optic right now.
Yeah, I see you got the Blazers. Yeah, Jeffrey, you're definitely correct about the Frank Jackson. Well, Steve, I mean, usually the best time is at the beginning of the break. But, you know, you, it never hurts to ask. We'll see what we can do. You think so, David? I think last year's draft class was better than this one, if I'm being honest. And then there's this kid who's pretty freaking sick. For the Grizzlies, Jaron Jackson Jr. Base card, but still very nice. This kid's a beast. It's a shame he plays for the Grizzlies because that team is going nowhere. But that kid is going places. That kid's a beast. Oh, I think I think last year's class was a little bit deeper. Wesley Matthews, 149 Mavericks. Last year it seemed like every team had a good rookie. This year, eh. Luka Doncic, another base card for the Mavericks. I'm, dude, Jeffrey, honestly, I kind of want to agree with you. Luka Doncic is the unicorn right now, but when it's all said and done, it might be Triple J. That kid, that kid's nasty. He reminds me, he reminds me a little bit of Kevin Garnett with a little bit of Kevin Durant game. Like, uh, the kid is just crazy. Brogdon, 79 bucks. A lot of people sleeping on him because he plays for the, uh, because he plays for the Grizzlies. This kid, too. Michael Porter Jr. of the Nuggets. Very, very nice in college. We had a pretty nasty injury. I don't know if he's getting any minutes or not out there. But he could be very good if he can be if he can get healthy. Jay Holiday, Pelicans to one ninety nine. Ray Allen of the Heat to 99. Morris Wagner, Lakers 149. Four boxes left. I wonder what next NBA draft class is going to look like. <clears throat> There's a lot of good young players that are probably going to be one and done. The main one being Zion. I think Zion should stay one more year in college. You know, to develop a jumper. Maybe lose a couple LBs. Go into the league and crush it. Very true, Bradley. What, especially if he ends up on a big market like the Knicks or something. Everyone knows Knicks fans are crazy. Yeah, there's no way that's going to happen. Unless the Mavericks end up with a high draft pick. I seriously doubt it. That'd be a crazy combo, though. Luka and Zion. Yeah. 
Zion Williamson in, in Atlanta might be interesting. Him, John Collins, and Trey Young. That'd be a pretty nice nucleus to start building around. And Trey Young is a true point guard. That boy, that boy got dimes. Jerome for the Clippers to 199. I wonder where they're going to trade Anthony Davis. I, I have a feeling that he's going to end up with the uh, with the Celtics, though. Demar Carroll of the Nets to 149. Autograph for the Bucks, Dante DiVincenzo. The signature series. A little hit for you there, Eric. Dernowitzki of the Mavericks to 199. Yes, Jeffrey, dude. It's Trey Young, man. The only knock on him is he's undersized, but he's a true point guard. Another Luka Doncic base card. Anthony Davis, I think, is going to end up either a Laker or a Celtic. Those are the only two teams I can think of that have, like, the assets to make that move. Because if you think about it, the Anthony Melton, Suns to 99. You know, are teams really, gonna, are, are teams really willing to give up their best player? For Anthony Davis, because it's not going to take just your best player to get Anthony Davis. You're going to have to give up your first, your first best player, your second best player, and maybe a draft pick or two to get him. And if you manage to pull that trigger, you you just you just got Anthony Davis at what cost? At the cost of like half your team, which is going to make you a worse team. So. I don't know. I think I think he's either going to the Celtics or the Lakers because those are the two teams that could realistically pull that trigger. But who knows? Maybe you you know involve the third and the fourth team. Maybe you make a miracle happen. See if the Sixers the Sixers could have get a package going. Trade Jimmy Butler, Markel Fultz. Maybe Landry Shamet and a draft pick, and I, and I still don't think that'll be enough for Anthony Davis. Well, that's true, Bradley. Then again, me and you are ballers. You know, they, people don't know that. But I, I'm good for a triple double. You know, I'm good for ten points, ten rebounds, ten steals, easy. I'm a defensive presence. That, that's what I do. That'll be my triple-double. 10 steals, 10 blocks, 10 rebounds. You know, I'll get a bucket or two here and there. I can get to the rim and draw a foul. I'll be like Draymond. Exactly. I'll be a, a, I'll be a baby version of Draymond Green. Except I, you know, I talk way better trash. And I'm nowhere near as ugly. And I can breathe with my mouth closed. Well, Jeffrey, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The Celtics can make that move. You all know how I feel about Kyrie Irving. So trade, trade Kyrie, trade Rozier, Jalen Brown, and like uh, Gordon Hayward for Anthony Davis and, and, and a draft pick or something. If the Warriors somehow magically end up with Anthony Davis, 
I might quit watching basketball. That team is looking unstoppable now. I think they've won, what, 11 straight games? With like seven or eight games left to go into the, the All-Star break? I, I honestly, I don't see that team losing to... I, I don't see that team losing to anybody. Mitchell Robinson of the Knicks to 49. They legit have a starting lineup where all five could put up 20 points each. Easy. That's scary. Nicholas Batum of the Hornets to 99. This offseason is going to be interesting. I think Klay Thompson might leave, go to the Lakers. Yet another Luka Doncic base card for the Mavericks. Holy crap. Dude, that's the insert. One, two, three, four, five, six Luka base cards in this case. Ridiculous. The one thing I can say about that Warriors team, though, is they built through the draft, man. So all kudos to them. They they really, man. Carmelo and Jazz to 99. They did it the right way, I think. You know, they built through the draft, and they just got incredibly lucky. Marco Fultz to 149 for the Sixers, which is kind of what you need to be a champion sometimes. Need a little bit of luck. The Bucks are, oh, a little Trey Trey. Trey Young with the Hawks rookie autograph. That's nice. If you need confirmation, that's nice. There you go, Hawks. A little something, something for you. Got two boxes left. My thing with the Bucks, honestly, man, and this is going to sound crazy to people, but Giannis is a little bit overrated, man. Jalen Brunson, Mavericks to 189. I'm, I might be kind of overstepping my bounds here a little bit by saying he's over, maybe not overrated is the right word I'm looking for. But he's he's not he's not he's still I don't know. Until he gets a jumper, I I, I wouldn't call him a superstar athlete. Like I, I don't man. I know I sound crazy. Honestly, Bradley, dude, I I would put him. I would put him in the top. 10. I could name I could name four players I'd rather have than him off the dome. LeBron, obviously. I'd rather dude, I'd rather have LeBron. I'd rather have AD. Alright, maybe I can't name four. Giannis is a beast, okay? Let me start by saying that. He's an athletic freak of nature. But until he can get a consistent jumper, defense is just going to play zone. Defense is just going to play zone. But what's scary about Giannis is two dribbles and he's at the rim. Which is scary. And yeah, I agree, Bradley. You know, he he's still completely, you know, still not proven. But I do like that he wants to be with the Bucks. You know, he, he doesn't want to uh, fraternize with other players that aren't on his team. So I love that. And he wants to put Milwaukee on the map. Which, again, love that. But until he can get a consistent jumper... 
I, I, I just I don't see him winning a championship anytime soon. Him and Ben Simmons. If either of those two players can get a consistent jumper, and like it doesn't even need to be a three point shot. Like you don't even need to make a you don't even need to attempt a three point shot. You just need to have a mid range free throw line area jumper. If you can get that, Ben Simmons and Giannis would be unstoppable. But defenses, they, they don't even bother defending Ben Simmons or Giannis at the three point line. Because they just they suck. They can't shoot. They can't shoot. Alright, what's in this box? Dude, honestly, I'd rather have Paul George than Giannis. This this dude can play defense, and he can do anything you need offensively. Kevin Durant, that's two. LeBron, three. James Harden, as much as he travels, but offensively, probably the best in the game. Rudy Gay, the Spurs, 39. All right, so Giannis is not overrated. He's definitely a superstar, but I, I don't see him winning a championship anytime soon. Hopefully he proves me wrong. I hope so. Because he's definitely a beast. Ben Simmons, six or 79. Oh, I would take Greek Freak over Harden for sure. Mainly because Giannis can play both ways. But... No, no, it's, it's just mind-boggling to me. How you can be in the NBA without a jumper. Chemezi Metu of the Spurs 189. Got Bruce Brown, Pistons autograph. Ooh, Anthony Davis on the Bucks would be disgusting. Him and Giannis? What? Bucks don't have the assets to make that move, though. Danny Green, Raptors, 149. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't even tell you who's the best team in the East right now. It might be the Raptors low key. But I like Boston. The Bucks can't sleep on them boys. Can't sleep on the Sixers either. And of course, can't sleep on the Heat. <laughs> no, you can you can you can definitely take a nap on the Heat. But take a nap. Don't sleep for too long. Because I have a feeling Pat Riley's going to make a move one of these days. In Pat, I trust. Last box mojo. Bucks are in first place in the East right now. I wonder what the playoffs are going to look like. I forgot. They got a nice little squad. They got Bledsoe, Middleton. A lot of people sleeping on Middleton, but that guy's a beast. They got Brogdon, who's solid. Giannis. Whatever happened to Thon Maker? Is he still with the Bucks? I remember one season he was balling. And still haven't seen him since. They got Brooke Lopez. He's solid. 
He's, you know, easy 15 and 10. What's that bench looking like for the Bucks, though? That's what people don't see. People look at the starting lineup, but I, I, I look, uh, I look at the bench. What's the bench looking like for him? See, I like Thon Maker more than uh, what's that other kid that they have out there? I can't think of his name right now, but he's basically the same player, just not as good, I think. Tall, lanky as hell. Can't think of it right now. Anyway, last box mojo. Good luck, yo. And looks like the last hit here. Javon Carter, Grizzlies autograph. So Grizzlies with two hits when it's all said and done. No Luka autograph, unfortunately. Well, who knows? Maybe they'll sneak it in here. I have seen crazy things happen. Well, they'll throw an extra auto in there. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it is possible. Jacob Evans of the Warriors to 99. Maybe a 101 lurking in here or something. Draymond Green, Warriors 39. Barring a crazy catastrophic injury, though, I think it's safe to say Warriors are going to, you know, win the uh, the Larry O'Brien trophy. Kemba Walker of the Hornets to 189. Derek Favors of the Jazz, 149. Aiton has been a tough hit. I, I, I have yet to see even a single Aiton numbered card. You know what's crazy though? Imagine if that Thunder team stayed together. James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, and Ibaka. That team would have been running things right now. Way more so than the Warriors, I think. Look at Dunkers Mavericks. Yet another base card there. I'd put Harden at the one. Let him handle the rock. Have Russell Westbrook play at the two. Put KD at the three. Ibaka at the four. And then, you know, get 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 the the popcorn guy in the concession stands to play at the five or something. And that Thunder team would have been running things. And that's gonna do it for the break. So to recap, we got Malcolm Brogdon of the Bucks, the lowest number parallel number two of ten. All right, we have a rookie insert here for Luka Doncic of the Mavericks. Then we have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven Luka Doncic base cards. I hear those are selling for a pretty chunk of change. And uh, what else we got? We have a Justin Jackson Magic rated rookie signature redemption. Javon Carter Grizzlies. Bruce Brown Pistons. DiVincenzo Bucks, Lonnie Walker, the Four Spurs, Curry Thomas Pistons, Josh Okoge, Timberwolves to 49, Melvin Frazier, Magic to 49, Buddy Heald of the Kings, numbered, what is that, 6 of 10, Danny Green, Raptors to, what is that, 60, 55 of 60, a Jaron Jackson Jr., Grizzlies base auto, and a Trey Young for the Hawks. Very nice. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you all. We'll get it out to you.